Pastor Ryan, the roving giant here. Happy spring to y'all. Welcome back for another episode. Uh, today we're not going to be doing any camping, but I got three cool things happening. To the very end, I've got a really cool surprise for you, so be sure to stick around all the way till the very end of the video. Without further ado, let's get going. Welcome to Brain Tan Central. <laughs> Brain Tan Central. I have something to show you. Big fun. It smells nice. It smells good. Blow. Blow. Wipe. That's the fancy way to do it. Blow, wipe, and swipe. Blow, wipe, and swipe. <laughs> Nice. Uh, um, all right. So, what am I? What am I doing? Brain tan and deer skins. Turning deer hides into deer skins. Turning deer hides into deer skins. It's not really. A, it's not really a tanning process. It's more of a dressing on the hide. Okay. You preserve it. The brain will go in there and encapsulate the fibers. And, uh, and then you have to work it while it's drying. Keep those fibers mobile so that they don't get stuck back together with the hide glue in the hide and, and that this is kind of putting something in there that covers that hide glue so it won't all stick together and turn back to raw hide. Okay, so it stays loose and stays, loose stays and flexible. Flexible like, like cloth. Okay. It's, uh, we've been doing it since the uh, caves and, and the uh, natives also used it. Alright. And uh, it's, what they, oh. it's what they wore before they had before they had uh, cotton cloth and woven cloth. Okay. They're, uh, this, unlike our commercial tan nowadays, will breathe. And so if you perspire and sweat and things like that, it'll go through the leather oh. and through the brain tan and, and disperse. And they're, uh, I used to have it commercial tan back in my younger days too. And I made leggings, just tubes go up your legs there for rendezvous. And, when it got nighttime, you know, you're in them all day and you're sweating and things like that. And nighttime, you would sit around and it would get, your, your legs would get cold because they were damp and, okay. and that. But with the brain tan, I have brain tan leggings now and, and you're good to go. It's, it's cool. uh Because it breathes. It's, yep, it breathes and it's, it's, it's really nice. They're cool in, the, cool in the summer and warmer in the cold weather. Okay. So, so we, what's this been soaking in? Just in plain water. It's been soaking for about five, six days now. And uh, that just hydrates the hide and uh, it makes the hair start to slip. The hair will start to pull out. Okay. call that slip. And uh, that's how you tell if a hide's good. If you're gonna buy a hide, you'll pull on the hair a little bit. If it comes out in, in chunks, you know that it wasn't preserved very well. And it's, gotcha. it's, re it's decomposed enough to release the hair. Okay. What we'll do is flop it up on the uh, piece of pipe here. They call that a flesh and beam. And, uh, Put the bow. If you put your pole, or get your beam against the tree there. You can uh, do it this way with a pole up against there and push against it and push it away. Whatever. Okay. Whatever suits your suits my fancy. Suits your fancy. Cool. And we want to get all the fat and meat off of there and get down to. You can see in some of these deeper spots you have blue hide. Yeah. You want to get down to that blue hide. Okay. These are fleshing knives. Put a knee up against that. The hard thing with this will be uh, getting the hide to stay up there and not fall off the tree and you fall with it. Yeah. Okay. You can go that route. I like to do a do the center of the hide from neck to tail and then turn it sideways and do side to side like a cross. Okay. And then each quarter a quarter comes off, you know, it seems to flesh off easier. Okay. That's what this is called, is flesh in the, flesh in the hide. You're taking the flesh off of it and, and so flesh off like this. You'll get a little more power this way probably. All right, then I'll go that way. That makes sense. Oh, man. 
even on video. I've probably only done six or eight or ten of them. Since I learned how to do them. Yeah. That's actually a lot less than I pictured. So Neil and I have been going at this for oh uh, what, what like two two and a half hours. This is how far I am on this hide. I've got I've got some, but there's still plenty to go. If you're ever interested in brain tanning, just just don't. That's my recommendation. Just 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 don't. I just told Neil that you you should stay curious, but yeah, some kind can be curious and not actually have to. You know, do it. You could just watch it on YouTube. So, watch me learn, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so I didn't quite finish scraping, but I uh, <laughs> we rolled it up. I'm gonna put it in the freezer for another day, which will be in, mean another video. So you guys will get to see more of this um, because I am just out of steam. We're about three hours deep in this, and I am. Just got no more scrapes left in me. We uh, definitely uh, earned our supper. Yeah, earned the supper tonight, <laughs> that's for sure. So, thanks for coming along for this part. We'll, uh, uh, we'll be, I don't know, I don't know if I'm done yet, but. <laughs> that's the we'll, uh, beauty part of brain, tan brain tanning. You can stop and start at any time and yeah. continue again. So, continue again it is. Hi, Trappy. So before we went, Jory wanted to show off uh, what kind of stuff you make out of this. Bring it closer. So like, it's all like pretty, I don't know, this this is different, but this is the kind of, you can make clothes like this out of it, and I'm sticking my head in. <laughs> but yeah, you can kind of, you can make different clothes. Neil's got like a, another, she's got like dresses. It's and a, like a three high dress. It's so soft. It's weird. Like I was expecting it to be like really stiff, but it's super soft and like I don't know. It's like velvety. It's cool. Velveteen. Yeah. Cool. And it looks like Trapper wants to be in the video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Trap says I'll chase you if I could see you. <laughs> <laughs> day and Casey and I are out for a walk. I'll turn around so you can see. Okay, there we go. We're walking with Fergie here. Yeah, Fergie. That's her name. On the trail. On the trail. <laughs> yeah, just enjoying a nice walk. It's a beautiful spring morning. I think these May apples are really neat. These little guys, they pop up right around now. It's early May. And they, they grow this little little apple, probably about that big. I tried it in probably late May, early June once, and it was kind of sour. I spit it out. Yeah, just wasn't really good. I found out it was poisonous. Later on, <laughs> it's uh, like later on in the summer, if there's still any around that the critters haven't gotten to, they are okay to eat, but right away in the spring they're not. Um, so I'm glad I didn't get sick or anything. I don't think they're heavily poisoned. It's not going to kill you, just not make you feel well. But yeah, May apples. They're beautiful little things.
I know I said after brain tanning with Neil that you shouldn't brain tan because it's too hard. <laughs> um, it was actually a lot of fun to, to learn that with him. It was indeed exhausting. I'm not going to deny that, but I'm glad I got to learn and get that experience and stay curious about it and all that. But um, I do look forward to the next step in the process. And after I get it all scraped, you start, uh, you actually use brain matter. It's it's really interesting, but I'll make sure you guys are around. <laughs> Casey's like, ew, gross, I don't like that. But <laughs> yeah, it was actually a lot of fun. So I wanted to do that disclaimer because I actually did enjoy. And brain tanning is one of those good things where you can sit there and you can just, it's kind of mindless work. You can just kind of scrape away, scrape away. So Neil and I were able to sit there and chat and just enjoy each other's company while we uh, scraped away at the hides. But it'll be really cool once we see, I don't know. What do you guys think I should make out of mine when I'm done? Put it in the comment below. Stuck around till the end of the video here. Uh, we have uh, some exciting news to share with you. Do you want to say it, Casey? We're gonna have a baby. We're gonna have a baby. <laughs> There's gonna be a baby roving giant in Casey. <laughs> in Casey. <laughs> but yeah, we're really excited about the news. It'll uh, be due on November 7th. Not sure if it's a boy or a girl, and uh, we hopefully we'll find out, but we don't know. Um, but yeah. I'm just super excited. We've been trying for a long time and we're just really happy about it. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for coming along on all these adventures with me. And um, I'm pausing because I don't know what to say. <laughs> Fergie. Fergie. She wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> She's bored with this. Yeah. But um, yeah. Uh, just because of preparations for the kid, it may affect the schedule of these videos. But hey, we're doing this for fun. If they happen, they happen. If they don't, they don't. But I really appreciate you guys following along and be sure to subscribe for when the videos do come out. Since they're not in a schedule, you'll need that, that little notification bell to let you know when they happen. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming along. I think I've said that at least six times now. And we'll see you next time. So until then, Stay curious. Yeah.